Are you looking for some ideas and inspiration to start building your own chain reaction machines at home? Today I'm going to be demonstrating three chain reaction machines that you could build using everyday materials that you might find around your own house. And even if you don't have every single object used in a machine, you can still use these examples for inspiration or maybe mix and match some of the different tricks and materials from the different machines. First up, we have the slam dunk machine. This machine uses a can of tennis balls, a clipboard, two DVD cases and a rack to hold them up, a measuring cup, tennis racket, hockey puck, foam finger, dominoes, cones, soccer ball, bottle cap, jersey, toy car, a ribbon, frisbee, string, rulers, a tripod, clamps, mini golf putter, a golf ball, ramp, binder clips, lid from a jar, a bike wheel, padlocks, zip ties, and an over-the-door basketball hoop and basketball. The tennis balls start in a can and the can is placed on an inclined clipboard so that it'll roll down. The DVD cases form a V-shape so the can will land between them and dump the balls out. Only two tennis balls can fit in the measuring cup so the third one rolls over it and bounces across the tennis racket. The ball knocks down the hockey puck so it rolls into the foam finger which bumps into the dominoes. I set up the cone with a little extra weight in the top so it acts like a giant domino to hit the soccer ball that was balanced on top of a bottle cap. The soccer ball pulls the jersey off the table. The edge of the jersey was holding the back wheel of the toy car. The toy car will start rolling because there's a frisbee over the edge of the table that's pulling the attached ribbon. The car knocks over a domino which pulls a roller to release the mini golf putter which is mounted to a tripod. The putter then swings into the golf ball, hitting it down the ramp. I added fake grass as a decoration. The golf ball knocks down a roller. The binder clip on top of the roller was holding back the jar lid that is zip tied to the bike wheel. Padlocks are locked to the other side of the bike wheel so that it wants to rotate as soon as it's released. And the lid throws the basketball into the hoop as the bike wheel spins. Now let's see it in action. Alright, and next up we have the cereal making machine. This machine uses string, a mug, binder clips, pot holder, tongs, a bottle cap, fruit, a toy shopping cart, a cutting board, a spatula, zip ties, a briefcase, paper plates, plate rack, spice containers, a cup, a ruler, a small pan, milk cartons, a metal straw, magnet, clamp, baking pans, milk frother, a bowl, and of course, a cereal box and milk. The tongs are held shut with the pot holder until the string is pulled. The mug handle redirects the direction of the string pull. When the tongs release, they'll flick an orange into a toy shopping cart. This dislodges the back wheel, which was placed behind the lip of a binder clip, and allows the cart to slide down a cutting board. A spatula is zip-tied to the cart, and it wedges underneath the briefcase to flip it over. The airflow from the briefcase closing pushes down the paper plates set up like dominoes on a plate rack. The last plate hits a few spice containers which knock down a cup. The cup rolls to knock out a ruler from underneath the cereal box. The box is duct taped to a container which acts like a hinge so that the cereal slides perfectly into the bowl. Meanwhile, the ruler will hit an apple into a pan, tipping it over the edge of the table and pulling a string. That pulls a block out from underneath the milk frother. The handle spins around a metal straw and a magnet on the bottom of the frother makes it stick to the baking pan and the milk is poured out into the bowl. Now let's see it in action. And lastly, we have the treat delivery machine. This machine uses a notebook, a wind-up toy, a spool, wooden blocks, a crayon box, scissors, umbrella, a mini solo cup, a ball, a lampshade, ruler, rubber bands, binder clips, a water bottle, books, bookends, dominoes, a birdhouse and a fake bird, the rest of the lamp, a mousetrap, a cat toy, a notepad, a ribbon, a lazy susan, a cat brush, a finger pointer, clamps, a box, a treat bag, and a bowl. The wind-up toy is released down an inclined notebook. It hits a spool causing it to roll. 
The spool runs into an angled block, which causes it to tip on its side and knock down a crayon box. The umbrella button is already pressed, but it won't open because the thumb hole on a pair of scissors is looping together one of the outer spokes with one of the inner spokes. The scissors fall when the crayon box falls, allowing the umbrella to then open. The umbrella bumps a wooden ball into the lampshade used as a funnel. Then the ball rolls down the books and hits a domino. The birdhouse is released. It's wound up, so it wants to unwind in the opposite direction. Dominoes are taped to the table in the direction that they should fall so they don't topple until the fake bird's tail spins back the other way. The dominoes activate a mousetrap, which flings a cat toy to knock a notepad off the edge of the table. A ribbon is pulled to spin the Lazy Susan. This causes a brush to push a finger pointer into the treat bag, which is taped to the edge of the table so when it tips, the treats fall out and into the bowl. Now let's see it in action so my cat Sushi can have a treat. Alright, I hope these machines gave you some good ideas and inspiration to start building your own machines at home. If this video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and smash subscribe to join the reaction so you can see more complicated machines. Make sure to share your creations with me by tagging me at Sprice Machines on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok. I'd love to see what you build. Please remember that your machine's going to fail a lot more often than it works. Caught it.